Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about my guitars. I said, in, but I think to the past that I want to do some music related stuff. So this is the start of it. So I'm going to go over. So I've got three electric guitars and two basses. I'm mostly basses, but I like electric guitars. So, um, so I'm in no mean a good guitar player too. Um, so I'm going to start by the oldest. Well, the one that I acquired the oldest first, mm -hmm. and bring them from there. And I'm going to show the bass at the end only because I've got a switch speaker and all that. So, we are back. Alright. So, this is the FLS Paul Special 2. Um, I've been I'm just going to show it. It's not clean at all. <laughs> just know it is. Um, so yeah, I've been given it. It is ah, get that out. It's been given to me by brother, my grandfather. Please, this is I don't like the um, Gibson slash Epiphone Max. They're too big. I don't know. Um, but yeah. So all tests I'm gonna do, by the way, are gonna be. Um, well, if I change settings, I'm going to just say it. But on this one, it's going to be middle, so both pickups and everything turned on to max. Um, so, yeah, let's do the standard. Ah, uh, crap, I forgot to start this. Uh, plug that in. Good. Where's my pick? There. So, I'm going to go about a preset. Here it's clean. I don't know if, it, don't know if it's going to sound good, actually. Okay. So. I don't know. It's going to play. This one, I'm going to switch to trouble pick up. So, oh crap. so, new strap, it's all tangled. Alright. So, I'm going to be sure. Okay. So, this is what I thought to be a crammer, but it's not. But according to the repair guide, my little shop, because I changed the tuners here, and so 
to me it was a really good copy of a Kramer though. And it did that had did a good job. Um so I don't know what year it is, I don't know anything about it. I bought it from uh, my girlfriend's mom, she was selling it for 80 bucks with a hard case. So had a pretty good deal on that one. Oh yeah. Oh you know how to do it. Okay. So this one. Um when some little pickup selected. Uh I don't think I'm gonna do a clean test on this one. Quickly. This is a Squire Telecaster uh, Classic Vibe, I think. Yeah. Uh, it's beautiful, and like the the Kramer copy, it's got a slim neck, like Gibson, and all that. That's why I like Fender and other of that kind. So this one we're gonna play clean. Actually, gonna play. Another clean preset. Um, so for the first test, um, um, I'm gonna be playing on the rim pickup. I'm gonna be for two minutes.
So I've set up the amp. Uh, so by the way, I said to set my guitar amp, my main guitar amp is just this Phantom Mustang 1 V2. And I'm just going to show it at the beginning since I'm there. So my base amp is this Vox uh, 50 watts. This one I think is 15, 25. I think it's 15 watts. I'm not sure. Oh yes, yeah, so, so this is a 15 watts. Yeah. It's a really um, I say it, um, really lightweight. Really like it. Sounds great. Oh, it's, it sounds great when comes through the amp. Never tried it for recording like this. Yeah, that. Uh, there we go. Get there. So I'm gonna go get my first bass that I ever got. So this is it. It's a Rogue VB100, I think. 500. No, no. It's a Hofner base copy, obviously. Um, it plays beautifully, especially on the box. So I'm gonna plug it in. Also, it's a really long neck. Uh, so I play it with a pick though. It's hard to play it, but uh, yeah, never mind. Turn on the amp. Okay. So, just gonna put everything on, not gonna change anything. so much better with flats. Um, so yeah, and the next one, my, it's also really new. So I'll be right back. Alright, so it's a Square Jaguar bass, short scale. So we've got real tongue hands. Again, fender neck. 
the issue with this one is this. It arrived by the mail with a huge chip. What are I supposed to post tomorrow? So it's really annoying. But I've got I had a, about a fifty percent discount on it since it were like that. So I'm not too sad about it. I'm gonna fix it. But yeah. It's not that bad. So this one I'm gonna play. I actually don't know what the settings do in this one. So <laughs> So both pick up on, I think. I think that's what it is. Yeah, so it sounds good. It has a really small max and it's short scale. Um one thing about it, uh, I put some half rounds in it. Because I didn't want the flats, but I still didn't want rounds. I don't know, I don't like them. Um, so, so I'm I doing my fingers and I'm going to do it with thick now. So yeah, it sounds great. I'm gonna have fun <laughs> um, editing that video, I think. So I, I, I don't do slap, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> So yeah, uh, that's gonna be the end of this video. Not sure. Yeah, something else. Show. Well, I got a ukulele, but I might as well. Why not? So for this, uh, if it's in tune. I'm just gonna check if it's in tune real quick. Yeah. So I actually bought this thing for 25 bucks. It's made out of plastic. But it's really cool. So that's gonna be hard to get in. Just gonna stop recording here and just say. Alright. So here it is. We'll try one day. So yeah, it's real cheap, but I like it. I don't know. Real fun. So yeah, I also I have an, an acoustic guitar, but I'm not gonna show it. It's pretty bad. I mean, I can show it just to say. I'm gonna show you when I'm gonna play it. So this is the beast. It's an old K. The brand is a K. Um, it's way older than me. It it's not that good. I installed pickup switches. The output jack there. 
not tuned at all. I'm, ha I'm having a problem tuning it recently. So, I'm not going to play it. But, yeah, I had to repaint it. And it's not even over. Uh, I didn't have time this summer. But, it was last summer I painted it. And, snow came. I didn't have time to finish. So, it's really rough. There's only one coat of varnish on it. Didn't send it that didn't send that go too so yeah but I, I like it it's just like there's an, even not even truss rod in there there's a steel bar and you can't adjust it anyway um, but it's fun guitar to play with so yeah that's my chat hope you enjoyed this video if you want more let me know I'll see you next time bye